Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. God, I love saying that. All right, so we've got a question from a fellow boater. This boater, Darren, uh, says, Jeff, I'm the owner of the Beneteau 34 and I've just purchased two 70 watt panels. So these are solar panels to mount on my Bimini, great. Each panel has its own dedicated Victron 7515. 75, it means 70 max, 75 volts, max amperage 15. By the way, he definitely sized uh, this controller well because of the shading issues with the boom. Good one, Darren. Yes, the boom will cause shading and putting two panels in series on the Dodger or Bimini, especially if they're gonna experience different type of shading is probably a faux pas. So good on you to have uh, listened to my advice and put dedicated controllers. That's really what I did on my boat. Should the controllers be mounted closer to the battery or the panels? And should they be wired with a disconnect at the battery? Okay, let's start with the first part of the question. When you're actually installing solar panels on your boat or on a friend's boat, maybe we're helping another friend do an install. What I would advise is to try to have the controllers as close as possible to the batteries. Now, it doesn't need to be on top of the battery, but given a choice, if you've got a cabinet that's close to the batteries and you've got another cabinet far away, then I'd rather that you put the controllers closer to the battery. One of the reasons to do that is these panels are generally higher voltages than the battery voltage. So having the controllers further from the panels means that the voltage drop issues are going to be minimized on that segment from the panel to the controller. Furthermore, some controllers are also temp compensated within the controller. So the closer they are to the battery is probably more indicative of what's happening to the batteries. So given a choice, always have the controller closer, but it doesn't have to be that way, right? Sometimes the controllers have to be further and that's okay. The second part of the question was, should I have a wired with a battery, a disconnect? Well, yes, you can. Yes. Commonly what we do is we install a fuse, we label the fuse and we install the fuse at the battery to the controller and from the controller to the solar panel. By the way, for some of you that are sort of new to this concept, the controller is really the brain, right? Um, it's sort of like a wind turbine. A wind turbine turns, but do you need power at that moment? Depends. So harnessing the energy from the sun is really a decision that the controller does based on the battery voltage. Your batteries might be full and it's sunny, and so the controller might decide, you know what, I know I've got lots of sun and I could do something about that energy and put into the batteries, but Good news is the solar controller is smart enough to know that the batteries are full or maybe they're nearly full and it's not going to give you max output when you don't need max output. So a solar controller is essential. Big fan of MPPT controllers. There's an alternative called PWM, but the MPPT ones are more efficient. Uh, so that means you lose less energy in converting the sun's energy to a battery voltage that you want on your boat. So I would probably put in a fuse holder on that circuit and I would probably not put a thermal circuit breaker on that circuit. Now, if you're planning on constantly disconnecting, I believe there are definitely circuit breakers out there that are meant to be connected on a solar controller and different companies make those. I've never deployed one because generally once the solar panel is connected, what we do for disconnecting them in case we need to do warranty or we wanna remove them in the winter time, We'll put maybe sort of make sure that the solar panels are disconnected at night or before the sun rises. Or what we'll do in the daytime is put a cover on top so make sure that the panels are not outputting as we disconnect that circuit. So two good questions from Darren. And if you're tackling uh, solar panels or solar controllers on your boat, educate first and then do. And part of the education, there's probably hundreds of articles on our website, including dozens and dozens of videos just on this very topic. So first educate and then do. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad free by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.